Hello there, I'm Mr. Malibu, and today we have a really wonderful event. It's a uh, fundraiser and awareness raiser for the California wildlife. And these people have an amazing level of professionalism in the medical area. And they save all kinds of creatures, uh, sea creatures, land creatures, uh, hawks, birds. And uh, it's the dedication to these animals is really impressive. And here we are with Victoria Harris, the president of the California Wildlife. Is that that's true, Wildlife right? Center? Yes. And absolutely. this is a, an amazing turnout. I'm so happy that so many people care about your your work, and you have such an outrageous professional team of physicians and people who actually save all kinds of animals, sea animals, land all the animals, marine mammal rescue, mm -hmm. and and we couldn't do it without volunteers. Wow. Our volunteers donated over 19,000 hours wow. last last wow. year alone. Amazing. So we are we're thrilled. More people are finding out about us so that they know that there's a resource. Mm -hmm. to go to if they find an injured or orphaned animal. Uh -huh. And what is your, uh, your long-range goal for the, this organization? Would you like to have a, a team of more physicians on board or what, what is the goal? The goal I think is education of the public mm -hmm. so that we, we get a lot of uh, animals that come into the center that actually shouldn't come into the center oh, okay. that are sort of orphaned. Mm -hmm. They think they're orphans but they're just fledgling birds. So I think through doing that we can um, save the resources that we have for the animals who really need it. So we do outreach to the community and we um, will go out and talk to community groups so that they learn what to look for. Right, and do, is there a criteria on your website that describes uh, when a, a creature should be brought to your attention? Absolutely, there are descriptions of what a healthy fledgling looks like. Okay. And we also have people from time to time who actually will say, take a picture of it, because everybody's got a cell phone, take a picture, send it to us, so oh. we can confirm that it's a healthy fledgling. Oh, then they don't make a trip up, they don't interrupt the natural sort of nature. Amazing, well I'm so appreciative of your amazing work. Thanks for your dedication. Oh, no, we awesome. thank you guys for supporting us and for coming out today. Okay. Hello, I'm Mr. Malibu with Malibu HD Power News, and here we are with John Paul DiGioria. But it's okay. No, but it's cool. You know what's so cool about your program? It's localized here in Malibu. It's actually something the world would like to know what's going on in Malibu because it's one of the spots to go in the world. And it's amazing. This isn't global. If it's not, you should get a hold of other people who have a similar program globally and say, I can report directly from Malibu. Where could you be at such a beautiful spot with luck? Look at the people, Patron Tequila, similar wines. I mean, the, the, the spots is unreal. And it's all to help out animals. Everyone's here to know every penny to animals. Do something for somebody that could never thank you. And you're hosting this whole darn thing. The world should know this, sir. Yes, sir. And I wanted to ask you, um, I, I read your bio on Wikipedia and I love all your green initiatives. You look like you're uh, the model corporation interest to have a clean environment and green type of things. And I was just curious, you have such an astonishing background. Have you considered writing a book? We, uh, we've been offered a few publishing deals and right now we're getting ready to do it. And it's all going to be about there ain't no free lunch. <laughs> My wife wanted to be from Hell's Angels to Heaven Gates, but we'd have some problems clearing that one. I can imagine. Um, and do you have uh, any? Uh, what's your, uh, any upcoming passionate projects? Uh, you know, in regards to Green Malibu. You know, I grew up in the colony. I was very fortunate, and we used to swim in the Malibu Lagoon, and it was no worries about pollution or anything. Have you ha had any thoughts about the pollution in Malibu or any? Yeah, sure. I mean, the pollution here sucks. I come from downtown L.A., so Malibu for me to be even part of the year is a really, really treat. And I think what's going on is between the uh, American Forest and Rivers campaign combined together, but more important, an organization that's called the Waterkeeper Alliance. They're alive and well, extremely well funded, win every lawsuit they've ever been involved in, and they are now looking with the coastal keepers here into who may be polluting it, stopping them, suing them. We've won every suit we have, so we're looking to help clean the water. And I haven't been on their board, so that's why I know about the Waterkeeper Alliance and what they're doing here. Also, I salute the people there at Broad Beach. Broad Beach almost totally disappeared, and some brilliant 
resilient person put some rocks up there to save the dunes and hopefully as it goes back they could return even more of the beach. Exactly. So we're, we're all behind that. Great. And one last quick question if I could. I was very fortunate to meet uh, President Gorbachev at the State of the World Forum in San Francisco mm -hmm. and I noticed that he was one of the board members on, on one of your um, yep. Global very Global. highly recognized uh, organization. Have you had an opportunity to meet him? He's a really wonderful gentleman. I've had an opportunity to be with him on a several occasions and his wife unfortunately just deceased you know, a short time ago. He's a wonderful man and he's one of these guys that has huge kahunas because you can't say basketballs on, okay I'm listening anyways, but where he said hey communism doesn't work. Free enterprise does work. I respect that man. And then he says, I'm going to dedicate the rest of my life to make the world greener and better for the whole population forever. That's a pretty cool dude. Hell of a state. He's a hero of our day. Awesome. Thank you so much. You bet. We really appreciate right, it. Man. Thank you. You, like it? you heard it from the horse's mouth. You heard it from John Paul Deoria himself that he says that Malibu HD should be global. I'm Mr. Malibu with Malibu that. HD Power News. Okay. And we're, now let me ask you this, what incredible TV show do you star in? Well, currently, believe it or not, mm -hmm. uh, there's a bunch of us, about 30 of us veteran daytime actors that are in a show called The Bay. The Bay, the series, which is airing on the web in September. But my background is in a lot of daytime TV. I've done 13 years of daytime TV and six, six shows, probably more than are actually on the air right now. Wow, you're so, so beautiful. You should be on the big thanks. screen. Have you been offered any movie TV's deals? TV's been good to me. I, uh -huh. can't, I can't complain. <laughs> I mean, you know. Uh, no, Another World, Sunset Beach, Bold and Beautiful, Days of Our Lives, uh, General Hospital, like, yeah. So. We knew we recognized you. You'll have to forgive us for not That's okay. exactly where we saw <laughs> That's you. That's okay. <laughs>